sir. Mr. Fagri. Why can't the classroom be the home? Why do we always talk about it in terms of sending our children off someplace to be educated? When this nation was founded, we didn't send our children anywhere. You know where that concept comes from? Again, Karl Marx. Plank 10 of the Communist Manifesto describes this issue as a social experiment. And I'm quoting from the book. It says, do you charge us with wanting to stop the exploitation of children by their parents? To this crime, we plead guilty. Now, how many parents out there feel that they've exploited their children? This is what Karl Marx said, further from Karl Marx's manifesto. But you will say, we destroy the most hollowed of relations when we replace home education by social. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we've done with public education. It is a social experiment. It has failed. Plank 10 reads this way. Go to the library. Don't take my word for it. Free education for all children in public schools. This is what we need to do. We need to break up the education establishment. These are not academics. These are government bureaucrats. They don't care about your kids. They take 48 cents of every dollar and they put it in their own pockets. 52 cents gets to the, gets to the classroom of every education dollar. The Reagan era commission uh, that produced the Excellence on Education wrote that if an unfriendly foreign power had attempted to impose on America the mediocre educational performance that exists today, we might have viewed it as an act of war. We've had discussions about merit pay. We've had so-called basics and standards. Nothing has changed. We've had a one-third increase in the amount of spent on each pupil in public schools since the Reagan era, and it has not changed. High school seniors rank 19th out of 21. Uh, 21 countries, and John Lott, Professor John Lott of the University of Pennsylvania has presented evidence that across countries, expenditures on public schooling are positively correlated with levels of totalitarianism. Thank you, Mr. Fager. Mr. Sue. Yes, this morning, 